Okay, so I got cut off, and rather than do the doing the editing, I'm just going to uh, continue uh, with episode eight, part two. So we've determined in episode eight, in the first part, that there are the reds, there are the blues, and there are the blanks, or the red, white, and blues, or, or whites, blanks, whatever. You know how I feel about that. So we're not, talk not talking about race here. We're talking about the lack of any um, involvement with the dark side. Uh, pure purity one might be another way of looking at it spiritual and genetic purity and uh, you know the blancos the whites come in every color how's that we come in every skin tone um, so the main purpose of the reds and the blues is to enslave and destroy humanity we are the grudge we are the thing they hate we are God's representative we look like him he was placed we, he, we were placed here by by him and um, and they despise everything that we are. And, you know, whether you think these are aliens, whether you think these are demons, whether you think this is just, I'm just talking about the devil, I think we can agree that the devil hates us. It hates all humanity. It hates children. It hates innocence. The demonic, the dark side, it hates, it hates love. It hates purity. It hates goodness. It hates mercy. It hates us. So their main goal, the reds and the blues, is to destroy mankind. And they work together to do it. You ever wonder why you get a Republican in and he's just like the Democrat, only his name is, you know, his title's different? What well, they call him rhinos, Republican in name only? You ever wonder why we get a Democrat and then a Republican and then a Democrat and the world just seems to keep going in the same direction with the same old problems never getting fixed? Everything just getting worse? It's not by accident. The red and the blue, the Democrats and the Republicans, they're working together. <laughs> Everyone in charge is working again, together against us. It's, this is the soul of classism. This is why the, they call these people blue bloods. They think they're different than us and they try to keep us suppressed. So the reds hate all humans and the blues hate themselves. And the rest of us are just asleep. Well, most of us are. So... Reds equal communism and enslavement, taxation and mind control, the serpent beguilement. This is what reds are all about is control. They want to dominate you. They want to stand over you. They want to enslave you and tax you and they want to control your mind. The serpents, the serpent beguilement. These, this is the, and if you're saying, well, well, Sage, that doesn't sound like Republicans. That sounds like Democrats. It doesn't matter. They switch titles back and forth. <laughs> The red and the blue color is just to confuse you and at the same time talk about who they really think they are because they only there's not much difference between the reds and the blues anymore because a lot of the blues are either are already uh, married into the red family or they're trying to be or, or they're slated to be and um, the lines are getting more clearly defined now between the reds, the blues and the blancos. So the reds like to control television and music and religion because that's mind control that's beguilement they're going to slowly indoctrinate you through those methods with literature and and religion and they also use drugs associated with this legal and illegal drugs because drugs are poison what is poison to a snake they're venom the poison comes from the snake the venom comes from the snake the reds are in charge of the drugs they're also in charge of controlling the food and the water. Ultimate control is to control the food and the water. And so they're behind Agenda, Agenda 21 and spreading of their poisonous venom. The red dragons also are the uh, procurers or, or the, the end users of child sacrifice. That's the thing they like most of all is to destroy innocent human lives as early as possible. So the blues are about economic control. The blues control the wealth, blue bloods, capitalism, greed. They're also into food and water control. Um, they are behind child abuse and child trafficking because the blues procure the child sacrifices for the red dragons. They're the ones that go out in the world and get the children and bring them to them. Remember the dragon story of the people that came and brought their daughters and they came and they brought the gold. This is all either allegory or just straight up historical truth. You decide. But they're also in charge of pedophilia. See, blues are more likely to love a kid like Woody Allen than they are to sacrifice a child like, say, Hillary Clinton. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, sorry, I got a phone call coming in. Did I save my video? I did. Yay, it didn't cut me off. Last time it cut me off. 
So, um, blues, though, they use us just like the reds do. Um, but the blues are about gun control. They want to control the, the firearms so you can't fight back. And the blues love suicide and self-destruction. So they are the authors of the victim mentality. They're behind the self-mutilation and transhumanism because they want to look anything they can. They want to look any way they can except for what they are. They don't want to look like a human being because they hate human beings and they hate themselves. And these blues are behind self-mutilation <clears throat> and transhumanism. And both sides use the blanks for their purposes. They use us. They control and manipulate us. And we are deceived by both sides. And we're encouraged to join. And we're seen as cannon fodder to them. Blues, blues use blanks differently than reds. Blues use blanks as soldiers, as doctors, as policemen, as preachers and priests, as sex workers and concubines, as inventors and innovators. Because, uh, you know, the demonic can't invent anything. They can only... They can only change God's invention and, and, and God's innovation and twist it. So human beings who have the spark of God in our spirit, we're the only ones that can actually create anything because we're doing it, uh, delegated authority through God. Um, but uh, doctors and preachers and policemen and bartenders and sex workers, they have to seem like they're uh, like they care about you, like they're caring, loving caregivers. So this is how the blues will use the blanks because they'll get someone who's got a good spirit, good heart, and they'll make them a doctor. And then they'll slowly twist their mind using mind control and economic control and, and social control and power valves and angles and, 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 you know, uh, they just use whatever they can to twist your arm behind your back and make you do what they want you to do. And a lot of times they just twist your mind and make, and you do it willingly. So we're being used all the time by these blue bloods and these red bloods. The red bloods use us as entertainment. They really, that's how small they think we are. We're just entertainers. Uh, so they're, we're, it's, you know, they're entertained by watching us get murdered. That's why there's so many killings in movies. They love to watch it. And just, even if it's just fake images of us getting murdered, they love it. Um... They see us as, you know, thing, you know, creatures that just need to be raped and murdered. But they also use people like me, musicians, for musical entertainment. You know, you ever hear about the snake charmers? How they, they, they charm the snake with the music and it makes the snake feel at ease and calm down. And, and, he, and he gets his groove on, you know, with the snake charmer. So they see a value in musicianship. And... Um, I think that's why they go after the souls of musicians. They want they want them on their side because I don't believe that the red dragons are capable of music at all. And they say Lucifer was capable of music, and but I think maybe that might have been stripped from him. Whole another video we'll talk about another time. <clears throat> they use uh, the reds use uh, the blanks as songwriters and movie producers and actors because through those images songs stories they it's their way of asking for permission you see the reds they have to have permission to function or god would just swat them down it's kind of up to us the true uh humans of earth to resist the devil right we have to resist them and then they'll flee but if we don't resist if we play along if we join them then they have permission to do those things to us and that is how they get to you when you ask when they when you give them permission by playing along by being part of the game by being part of their structure and their system by joining in so if you don't join in and you don't play they can't get you that's the good news that's the truth of all of this the devil's under your feet don't you know it that the true the, the blanks all of us who are made in the image of god who who uh who accept goodness and purity and 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 take care of our fellow man and humankind we are the true owners of this earth and we have every right to step on the devil's neck unless we're playing with him Unless we're playing hanky panky in the garden with them again, then we're on his side, and we have, and whatever punishment comes to the devil comes to us too. That's how they get you. Sorry, I'll stop preaching. <laughs> Once a preacher, always a preacher. Um, so the Reds use uh, blank bloods as entertainers, but they also use us as preachers.
<laughs> they use blanks as preachers, religious people. And if they could turn a, a religious person, a person who at, at first comes out with the good intentions, if they can twist him over time, they can make one of the most evil and sadistic tools of oppression ever designed by these red dragons. If they can, if they can take one of these uh, ministers of light and turn them and twist them into one of theirs, my gosh, you've never seen a more hateful or sadistic human being. Just look at the Spanish Inquisition. How about Islamic terror? You know, Guy Fox tried to kill a bunch of people. The guy with the mask, you know, if you go and look at his story, he tried to kill a bunch of people, but few people talk about why. It was all about religion. He was trying to destroy uh, religious ideology. You know, millions died over the Reformation. The Reformation is still being was is still being fought up into modern times, and is just now finally getting peace between Protestants and uh, and Catholics. And it's been it's still being fought in Ireland right up into my lifetime. The Reformation wars were still being fought in Ireland between the uh, between the North and the South in Ireland. So, boy, I'm not sure where I'm at here. Oh, I guess I'm at the end of my video. <laughs> I had to do this in two pieces. I hope you don't mind that it was this um, episode um, eight in two chunks, but I ran out of recording time. You know, I don't know how many gigs and gigs of recording time I have, and it's all full. I'm trying to save videos. I just found out they're being automatically backed up, though. The AI's got me, I guess. They got me all backed up, so I found them online, so I'm not so much worried about it anymore, so I need to go through and clean out the card, but I apologize for the break in the middle. But what do you think? Do you think these red, white, and blue colors mean something more? Do you think this goes all the way back? You know, this is the secret of the secret society. When you get to the very top of the secret society, the, the big secret is they think Lucifer's the good guy. They think many of them are, are uh, interbred with, uh, with, with serpent beings and can shapeshift. And they believe that your choice is to convert as a blue blood and, 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 and agree to be intermarried with them and interrelated with them or to be murdered murdered, killed, and destroyed in a cataclysm. That this is what's behind Agenda 21. This is what's behind the, the hand, the evil, the dark side that we see. It all goes back to the beginning of these two ideologies of the red and the blue and how there's the red and the blue and the rest of us who are caught in the middle that they just as soon see destroyed as to take another breath. And they really want to get rid of us all. And that is the bad news. The good news is, all you got to do is resist them and they have to flee. That's what the power of being a child of God actually means. God is saving us and our republic. All we got to do is stand up against the enemy.